searching for a place to call home. AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together, and I admitted I had feelings for her. She felt the same way. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. The start, I was so little, and, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Mitch was looking after all of us. He gave his life so we could go on fighting. I know that. Doesn't make it any easier. He'd want us to find our friends and bring them home safe. And he'd want us to kill the people who took them. Hey, AJ's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. We should bury Mitch. It's time. I'll help you can. Get away from him! <laughs> You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Well, it's true! We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up! Come on, Willie, none of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This... This is bullshit! Ten! I'll take care of this. Talk to Abel, find out where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and Asim. 
And Clem, don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. Should be strong enough to hold him. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. <sighs> Ready? his afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> you got any water? Other than what you already dumped on me? I mean... Drink. Had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. You think Lily would come back for you? Look at the state you're in. You're worthless to her now. I can heal. There is no rescue party, Abel. Only a bunch of pissed off kids who want you dead. So tell us where our friends are. You trade it for mercy. <laughs> Lily will never give them up. Only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say. Point the guns the way we tell them to. I don't give a shit about your war, or your fucking Delta. You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. 
front pocket. I answered all your questions. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, among the beasts, that shall ye eat? What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Come on, kid. Don't make me... Now that... is heavenly. <coughs> What you wanted? I did, but <laughs> you're gonna get your wish. <laughs> when you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. <laughs> it all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No! <laughs> my, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise, you won't let me turn. I'm begging you. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. <laughs> you... you got what you wanted. Please... don't let me become one of those things. Please... I don't want it to hurt. <laughs> Not that. I wanna... let me keep my face. You don't need to watch this. I want to. <sighs> At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. Come on, we have a boat to find.
Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was! Mitch died because he- Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, look! You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy! Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Huh, are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. You ever seen this boat before? No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. Pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. I can see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. There are a few on deck. Couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed too. Wait, I see Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. No good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walkers! Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Over here, they have horses. Let me see. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. More torches. 
Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses, too. We could get on the boat easier that way. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about? James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Perfect. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it! How many of you are there? How many of who? I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. Eight. There's eight. Clementine, wait. That... That's many. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Violet's the one in charge. Really? The Violet I knew could barely stand to talk to people, let alone play class president. You're the one who convinced the school to fight back. From where I'm standing, that puts you in charge. Your leadership is going to get my little brother killed. Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did... ...like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What the hell? He gave you and Sophie away. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Many are wrong. Clem protected us. Yeah. And how come so many people are dead? He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Where's 
Sophie. Is she alive? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? God, you... Minerva! Shit. Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. It's not too late, Minnie. You could come back to the school with us. No. No, I couldn't. Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow! Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean. And Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. It's okay to get mad at people. You can't help that. But those thoughts have to stay in your head, okay? Don't act on them. Ever. Okay. I'm strong. I can control what I do. But not what I think. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then, Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, why don't we teach them? They're smart. Someone just has to show them what to do. Yeah. I want Tim to know how to be safe. We can show them how to be smart, like us. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? 
I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma. Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. I am not. Fine. He's my second first real friend. See James, just monsters. <clears throat> James, you're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. Maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. Keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have... There! 
shit. We have to run. Hey, over here. EG. No, there are too many of them. Cart, push it. The noise will draw them away. Okay? Yeah, no bites. I know it would have been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. Thank you for helping me get this back. How will walkers save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I... have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. James. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. It's safe. Just a little further. Clem. What's this? It's called a salt lick. Salt lick? Ugh, sounds gross. Or maybe it's actually good, like chips. Those are salty, right? Go ahead, lick it if you want to. <laughs> oh, gross! It tastes nasty. <laughs> well, now you know. Ugh, learning sucks. Beat Nick. My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but 
something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. Well, you can't prove that, James. Look, I've heard some weird things, but walkers having a soul? Like I said, I know how it sounds. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Clem's friend. Lee. She let him. Because he was too important to her. Do you really think there's nothing left of who he was? No, he's gone. Even if his body is still moving, there's nothing left. Just a walker. I'm sorry you feel that way. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem. She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. Lewis would do it for us. Yeah, I guess. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Check the windows. I will. Remember to breathe. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle and be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see.
there, kiddo. It's all right, I'm fine. See? No bites. No bites. So... Do you still think they're... just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace... I... I think you might be right. About there being something more to them. It was... kind of nice in there. Really? I never met someone who understood. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before too. AJ. You've killed someone? Yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good. I guess. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine. But I can't have more blood on my hands. So let me get this straight. If you really had to choose human life or walker life, which is more important? Walkers are peaceful. H humans... My friends are alive. Not kind of or maybe alive. They're trapped and they're afraid. They need my help. I may be stubborn. I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. There might be people inside walkers. Did you mean it? Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. <laughs> Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. Uh, that sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well... I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. <laughs> what the hell is a hoot nanny? 
It's just another way of saying party. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be her last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the decor, decoration, a decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. How do you play with it? You draw pictures like this. <laughs> cool. What's his name? Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. I'm gonna show him the tin later. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes, we got those. Then there's monsters eyes, and usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them, like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him too. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I want to be better, Clem. Let people know I'm good just by my face. You're the best, okay? I'm getting real smart. <laughs> is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay. What are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah, the older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. Well, first it would suck, like big time. And then... I'd have to nom nom eat you, little boy. <laughs> Stop! AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Run away as fast as... No! No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not leaving you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I don't wanna be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but 
Don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> you can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? AJ, I'm done. We're not doing this anymore. You're gonna drop it or you're in big trouble. I mean it. Why can't you just be nice to me, stupid Ed? AJ. What's with AJ? He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today? With Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused, I guess. We can still save Minnie. If we brought her back, we could... You saw how she reacted when Lily showed up. Those are her people now, and we are not. Minnie, the real Minnie, she's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ, or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Well, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he, he really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it, he says it. He'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis Omar Asim, we'll get them all back. Um, I made you this. Stars. So you never forget that night. I never will. When you told me you had feelings for me, I was shocked. Then I started thinking. There's something I've always wanted to try with someone I cared about, and I never have. What is it? Have you ever danced with anyone before? <laughs> nope. Do you... wanna? Just us. 
no one else around. I don't know how to dance. Will you show me? Sure. We'll make it up as we go. Thanks for the dance. Yeah, we're getting better at being romantic. <laughs> yeah. Wow, where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross, but look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. Hmm, I thought you were mad at me. Well, I am, but I still wanted to show you. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! <laughs> You're terrible. Hey! I love you, Clem. And I'm sorry for calling you a dumb head. It was stupid head. You called me a stupid head. Oh, <laughs> right. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah, we still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis in a box. Come on, I'll show you how it works. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. AJ, why don't you come up with something? Really? I have an idea. It'll be a surprise. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. So you take one of those black things that look like plates, and you put it on here. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Let's deck this place out in green. Ruby's favorite color. I'll make it happen. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. Um, maybe something country? That's my favorite. <laughs> Shocker. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem! Check it out. 
I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're gonna be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how he treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. It's a bomb, not a baby. We're not naming it. Okay, fine. Have it your way. <laughs> I found them! Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. You'd think so, but nope. Really? The person in the file? <laughs> Imagine Marlin times another Marlin. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Yeah, you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, uh... You ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. He used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. Trust me, nobody wanted to know that. What does that mean? Uh-uh, 
Don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Aaron, yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume. You know? Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand. And, uh, Use that to push the trigger in. So yeah, bang, right? Her body folded up and just kept rocking. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like, what you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry. This is supposed to be fun. I'm I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when... Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared. Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known how. He liked that one. You could just sing it to us like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, uh, I can do that. Die.
darkness Never mind the storm Never mind the blood red moon The night will be over soon The night will be over soon Brush away the sorrow Brush away the tears Sing away your heavy heart The night will be over soon The night will be over soon for every night goes quiet and every moon grows blue beyond the dark comes something new the sun will be rising soon the sun will be rising soon. The sun.